Hi everyone and welcome back to next diecast. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a look at my old um, Matchbox car collection. This is going to be kind of a follow-up to my old Hot Wheels car collection video that I did a while back. Um, and similar to that Hot Wheels car collection, I have these older models in this thread storage container just because, you know, they're kind of, I feel like they're safer in this kind of storage where they're kind of um, on the side, where the case is on the side like this and the cars are kind of upright on the side like that. And also kind of serves as like a nice... Um, like displaying window, some sort of thing too. Another reason why I really like getting these these particular cases. But these Matchbox cars, they all date from 1953 with, with this first um, dump truck here up until the 1980s. I do have a, a few more Matchbox cars that are from like the 90s and 2000s and whatnot, and some from the last couple of years. They're all in different cases, but I try to keep all the old ones in, in, in the same case, just cause you know, they're kind of all in like one safe um, place and whatnot, and they're easier to find and, you know, show off and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of give an overview of each vehicle that's in this case. Um, so up here we have the gray wheels that I like to call them. We start up here with this dump truck. It actually has a typical dumper back there. This is from 1953. It's got the gray wheels on it. There's actually another version of this that has painted wheels. This one just has the bare kind of uh, metal back there, as you can see. Deep type, D-type Jaguar. These are actually really small, too. It's kind of funny how small the original cars were compared to today's cars. You can see um, these are almost like HO, like train layout size, some of these. <laughs> here's, a, here's another Jaguar. This is a 1950s Jaguar Coupe. I think it's an XK120 or something like that. My grandfather got that one from a, from a flea market, and then he gave it to me a few um, years ago. And here's a flatbed truck with, um, with some bags on the back right there. He used to say something on the side. Um, this was a flea market find, too. Blue Circle something department. But yeah, there's the base there, kind of rusty, but very cool, nonetheless. Here's a Ford um, panel van truck. I used to say Singer on the size there. My grandfather actually bought these four from the same flea market seller, which is kind of cool. Um, and he gave it to me recently because he was he was making more room for his Tootsie toys, so he cleared out some of his old um, like, like Matchbox and whatnot. Here's a petrol tank truck. Um, kind of has like a unit in the middle and a unit on the end there. Another uh, gray wheel. And here's a Studebaker Lark Wagoneer with the slide opening roof back here. I bought this from a flea market when I was like probably eight or nine years old. The original one, it used to have like a, like a hunter and two dogs, I guess, when it was new. But this is an older one, so it doesn't have those anymore. Yeah, another flea market find. Here's a Mercedes 280 SE Coupe. Um, my grandfather, he actually repainted this. It was missing pretty much 95% of its paint when when it was bought. It used to be like a green, but he decided to paint it gray. And I think it looks really good with like the silver grill and stuff on it. And then here's a trailer back here. Um, I actually have a like a 1990s ski boat that I'll sometimes put on the trailer and display with like a car that might have a trailer um, like hook on it. But that's a cool one. I think this used to have a boat on, on it too, of course, when it was new, but this was my dad's at one point. Here's a Bentley three and a half liter a Roadster. This is a, mo this is a model of um, yesteryear. Slightly bigger and has more detailing than the regular um, issued Matchbox cars. And you can see it has like the spare tire on, on the side and stuff. Steering wheel's broken, but this was well played with back in the day. And here's the GMC um, tipper truck. The cab tilts forward, the dumper tilts back, and the, and this back door kind of um, opens too. Very cool. You don't really get all these features today on um, newer um, Matchbox cars, but back then they always put opening features on them, which is great. Volkswagen van, this has an opening roof up here. Um, this was from an antique store. Here's a Vauxhall concept car. It's like a pink one. Really kind of strange looking with like the blue window and everything, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, a coworker gave me a few of these that I'm going to be showing next. Um, and here's a Land Rover Range Rover. Um, it actually has a spinning roof light. This is from the Matchbox Roll Rollomatic series that they had in the mid 1970s. They had a few other models in the series too. Like here's another one here the Mustang Piston Popper. If you roll it, the pistons go up and down. You can't really see it too much here. My, my dad also ha has a version of this. Um, a co-worker gave me these three here. I think her son he used to own them or something. Here's a BMW 3.0 CSL with the opening doors and, and, and the sticker on, on the hood. 
we're getting into later super fast models now from the mid to late um, 70s. This one was from a hobby shop. And then a Mercedes 280 um, SL with the, with the soft top on there. Or is it a, I'm sorry, 350 at SL. Always loved um, this one with, with the yellow and the beige interior and the black roof. Here's a Rolls Royce, Silver Shadow 2. I actually have a second version of that in silver with the red interior. I actually have the box for, for this one too. I'll do a separate video of my matchbox cars that I have the original um like boxes to and everything. I have those in a separate. If you looked at my one if you looked at my model car storage video, I actually show off of a few of those. But this one's red with the, with the white interior. It belongs to my my grandfather. Here's the Renault 5TL, the uh Le Car opening hatchback there, very cool. And my 75 cent car carrier. This has like the it has like three kind of plastic shells of cars on there. It doesn't, the cars don't come off or anything, but um, I think this thing might slide, but I got it for 75 cents, which I think is a great deal. Ambulance, which needs some major um, TLC, I guess. The, like the window and stuff's kind of, I got that from the same person that gave me these three um, up there. But this one here, I'll probably have to, I did clean it off and stuff. I might have to, I might try to restore it with like the paint and stuff, but we'll see how that goes. Plymouth Grand Furies down here. This one my dad owned, and this one we and this one I think I got from a flea market or something. I'm not too sure, but they're two. They're the same casting, but two different um, paint colors. I always kind of like collecting um, like like variations of both Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars. It's it's it's, it's kind of cool to see like what um, like what's been made and what's out there and all that. Here's a snorkel fire engine. It's got the it's got the firefighter in the, in the bucket up here, and the, and this arm of course moves up and down and extends and stuff. This was actually my dad's. We're going to go ahead and look at this side now. This side has like later 1970s into the 1980s. So we'll go ahead and look at that next. Let's just pause this for a second. So we'll start up here. This is a Citron SM with the Yamaha trailer back here. I got this from a garage sale. So it's got opening doors on and stuff. There's actually some spare parts on the roof, as you can see here, for the bikes. And, and the bikes actually all come off the trailer, too. Here's a Porsche 911 Turbo Rally with the opening doors and the, and the rally decals. Very, very cool. My dad actually um, on that one. 62 Corvette. It's got the blue flame um, tampos on it and everything. Then a Corvette um, T-top, as you can see right there. I always liked um, this one. My dad had this one, and then I had it as a little kid. Pepsi Cola truck. I actually have several versions of these Ford um, Model Y trucks. I got this version. I got a pink raisin brand version. I got a yellow version that, that has a Matchbox tampo on the side, and a Texaco version. I'll probably show those in another uh, video as, as well. Or on my um, my um, Instagram page too. 1987 Corvette, got that from a local hobby shop. Then my dad, he actually got these two in, in a set. This is a BMW 323i Cabriolet, and then a caravan trailer, with this opening door on the side, which is kind of cool. These both these both came in a set in the late 80s, which is so cool. And this actually hitches on the back of the BMW. Oldsmobile um, Aerotech, kind of an unusual concept car. This back part opens, some engine uh, detail there. A Ford Sierra and a Rover Sterling, both were my dad's and I actually had as a kid. You can tell I had them as a kid because of some of the damage on them, but it's not too heavy. I might think about like touching these up a little bit. Ferrari Testarossa, also from the same hobby shop as, as this Corvette. And then a Ford LTD. I got a police version and a taxi version, both of which my dad owned. Kind of different. This has the roof lay and this kind of thing on the side window here. And this one has the taxi symbol on the roof, of course. Cadillac um, Alante Roadster. This is actually my dad's as, as well. It's got the red interior, as you can see there. Very cool. Thunderbird um, Turbo Coupe. I found that, I think, at a flea market. And this Ford Escort um, Cabriolet. Then in this row we have the Dodge um, Caravan, 
1984. It actually has a working door on it. As you can see here. Of course, the one hand is kind of hard. There we go. Yeah. Kind of a cool touch. Then a, a foam truck for like an airport fire company has a hose on the roof that moves around. And then a bucket truck that has a movable uh, bucket back here. Then in the last row, we have a Land Rover 90. Kind of a rugged looking like Jeep kind of thing. And then a Jeep um, Cherokee. and got that from a flea market. This is actually my, my most recent old matchbox I got. I had to clean it up and stuff, but um, I think I did a good job with it. I might consider touching it up some with white paint, but I'll see. And this Baltimore Orioles Corvette, which is the same casting as this one, only it has like the roof, the roof pieces are on instead of off, like this, um, like this um, T-top version. So that pretty much wraps it up for the older uh, Matchbox collection. Um, again, I'll probably showcase my other um, Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars in in the future, along with my one my um, 118 scale cars and other cars too. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to comment down below with your thoughts on the collection, or if you have any of, of these particular cast things and uh let me know what you think thanks for watching